All right, uh, welcome everyone. My name is Roddy Hassan. I'm a uh, technical solutions architect at Cisco Systems, and I'm going to be taking you through a demo of uh, Cisco Software Defined Access. Uh, we're going to build a fabric uh, using zero touch, and I'll, I'll uh, explain what that means a little later on. So here's what we're going to cover. Uh, we're going to do PNP onboarding with a Catalyst 9K switch. Um, we're also going to do PNP onboarding with a Catalyst 9800 uh, WLC, which is a pretty new feature. Uh, that uh, will be available soon. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to take you through Cisco DNA Center device provisioning and also kind of show you a little bit about templates. Uh, I won't go too deep into them. Uh, then we're going to build a, um, uh, an SD access underlay uh, and we're going to do that using LAN automation which again is, is like a zero touch uh, uh, technology. So uh, we're going to actually use, it'll use plug and play to onboard the devices and also build the underlay for us. Uh, I'm going to take you through some um, basic Cisco SD Access uh, fabric uh, workflows and creation. Uh, we're going to do some fabric enabled wireless uh, with automation. I'm also going to show you a little bit uh, about SDA for distributed campus, which used to be called multi site, uh, and that allows us to uh, connect fabrics and uh, maintain end to end segmentation and policy uh, across different fabrics uh, that are connected together. Uh, I'm going to do a demo of fabric in a box, which is really just using one switch uh, to do all of your uh, SD access uh, functions. And that's also going to include embedded wireless so that that fabric in a box will also act as a WLC. Uh, and then I'm going to show you some very basic policy and segmentation just to validate that our fabric is working and everything looks good. So what I won't be covering, because <clears throat> this could go on for hours, um, I'm not going to cover the basics of SDA. Um, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen some demos or some intros, so you understand a little bit about uh, at least what SDA is or what it, uh, the purposes of SDA are and what the benefits are. Um, I'm not going to cover the underlying technologies of SDA. They're way out of scope for this, and they also tend to change from release to release or not, uh, not fully change, but at least um, they get modified. So it's really... there's not a lot of value in going deep into the, under, uh, the underlying technologies. Um, and then again, one of the beauties of SDA is that it's automated. So you don't necessarily have to poke around or understand the underlying technologies uh, unless there's a problem, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to cover too much on ICE or Identity Services Engine. I'll kind of show you the integration that we've got with Cisco DNA Center for this lab. Uh, and I might show you a little bit about the policies, but I'm not going to go too deeply into ICE. Again, ICE could be a separate to topic by itself. I'm not going to cover uh, multicast and SDA. Again, th there's uh, a few different things with multicast that you can do, and it, it would be a topic by itself. And I won't cover some of the advanced SDA features like L2 flooding uh, or guest VN anchoring, which is also coming soon. And again, there, there's going to be a lot of other things that I won't be able to cover in this time frame. Um, I'm not following a script, really. I'm going to go through the workflow and kind of talk as I do it. So um, I may be all over the place, and I may speak a little fast at some point, so you kind of have to forgive me there. Um, what does my lab environment look like? Well, I'll show you a diagram here in a minute, but uh, these are the, the, this is the software that I'm using in the versions. Uh, I am doing this on Cisco DNA Center 2.1.2.3. Um, the next generally available release will be 2.1.2.4, and it'll be out, uh, I think, sometime in the late November 2020 time frame uh, is what I'm hearing. Um, so this version that I'm running right now is in controlled availability, availability right now. It's not actually out. Um, but the release version will be out here uh, probably in about a month or so. Uh, I'm running Cisco ICE uh, version 2.7 patch 2. Um, and then I'm running a, uh, a few Catalyst 9300 switches that are going to be running 17.3.1. Uh, and then the Catalyst 9800 uh, CL version, which is the VM version running on VMware. And it's going to be running iOS XE 17.3.1 as well. So I've got an asterisk beside the 17.3.1 uh, for the 9800 CL. Uh, that is required for plug and play on the 9800. Um, the, the version of Cisco DNA Center I'm using as well, 2.1.2.3, which is also known as Cyclops, uh, is also required for uh, 9800 plug and play. So that's a new feature coming in DNA Center. Uh, 